What's going on guys? Batchy here. Been a couple uh, couple weeks since my last vlog. I apologize, I've been kind of getting over this cold. Had a ton of stuff going on. The uh, old lady's kind of sick too. The kids have been getting kind of stuffy and I just had a lot of stuff going on. Getting ready for this tag sale at the house. I've been cleaning up stuff like crazy. But uh, today I want to show you guys the new ride. Bought it for the old lady for our two year anniversary. Nice cruiser car. 66 Impala. Just picked it up yesterday. Car was repainted in the 80s. The interior is all original. Car's always been white. Has the original has the original 283 in it. It's got a two barrel carburetor. Um, it doesn't do burnouts yet, <clears throat> keyword yet. Got air conditioning, power steering, power brakes. Got like a couple little teeny minor rust spots like underneath the door there. And uh, tiny little bit of bubbling right here. Same thing on the other side. <clears throat> but this car's all original, it's a four door. Sweet family cruiser. The interior on this thing is in like exceptional condition. I mean, you see this is original upholstery from 1966. You know, and just the stuff that's, this car, just, uh, I love the smell. Rosina hates it. But, uh, you know, let me check out the speakers. <laughs> Everything works. Everything but the clock. The clock doesn't work. But, I mean, these cars back in the day, these things were VIP. I mean, you had, boom, you had ashtray on the driver's side. Ashtray on the passenger side. Come around to the back. We got the kids' seats back here. Boom. We got an ashtray back here. Same thing on the other side. I mean, everybody smoked back in the day. This car's for VIP as fuck. But I love this thing. The blue interior, blue gut with the white. I mean, the headliner's not even hanging down. Got a tiny little crack, it looks like. You know, right there. No big deal. Minor one little crack right here in the dashboard. But it's gonna be our sweet four door family cruiser. I would like to find a wagon, but uh, this is what we got for now. Could easily fit like six full grown men in the trunk. Easily. So, today, the plan is, this, this car sat from like the early 90s in a barn. Um, I'm going to drain all the coolant. I actually put a water pump on this at work. and three new belts or two new belts yeah three new belts power steering um, at work but I'm gonna pop this intake off and I'm actually we're gonna get rid of the two barrel carburetor I got a brand new not brand new but new to me I got an Offenhauser intake that I got from my buddy take a walk across the street quick it's in my suburban one of my cool neighbors lets me park in his driveway because, you know, we got the junk line up out here. But, uh, I got this sweet Offenhauser intake. Came off of his 66 Chevelle. So we got to convert this from a two barrel to a four barrel. Uh, McDonald Auto Parts. There's like a small family owned auto parts store in town. All the goodies in stock. Intake gaskets, check. Brand new thermostat, check. New carburetor studs and nuts, check. Thermostat gasket, check. Four barrel carburetor, 
gasket, check. Brand new valve cover gaskets, check. So, I'm gonna tear this thing down. We'll probably adjust the valves too. I'll give you guys uh, maybe a little insight on doing a valve adjustment too. I just wanna check them, um, being that it's been so long, you know. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna, I'm gonna tear this thing down and yeah, we'll be back in a few, guys. All right, guys, intake's off. Silicone beads are laid. New gaskets are set in. Got the uh, old gasket here. Or old gasket, yeah, well, old gaskets are here. I'm a cheap bastard. I'm gonna return those to the auto parts store because they're the exact same number. I'll wait a couple weeks, warranty them. Get some new ones for free. I am a cheap fuck, I'm a Jew. This is what it is. Old intake. This thing is so heavy. Cast iron. I mean, it easily weighs a solid 50 pounds. Um, got the old junk two barrel here. We're gonna make some more power. Um, turn this off for a second. Offenhauser intake, dual port. We're gonna lay this bad dog on. This thing literally weighs like, I don't know, 10 pounds, 15 at the most, aluminum. So, I'm going to quick clean it up, lay it on, and next time I come back, this pig should be running. What are you doing, babe? Intake. What is the deal? We're gonna make it faster. How good? Yeah. Did you tell everyone her name? No. Why did we name her Helga? Yes, you wouldn't have wanted to name her Helga. Yeah, because she's fat. All right. And old. Yeah. Fat old people named Helga. Wow, you look hot. I'm sweaty. <laughs> okay guys, so swap is done. It's been done actually for a couple hours now. Um, it's just been screwing around with the timing um, and the throttle linkage. It's kind of haggard at the moment. I've yet to road test it, um, but this thing runs excellent now. I've got the timing set at uh, 14 degrees advanced. Um, I couldn't hook up the kick down because I need longer linkage. Um, <clears throat> the spring is kind of haggard right here. And I used a paper clip and some washers to make the throttle linkage work. Um, the choke is just wired right open. This upper radiator hose I actually threw away. Uh, this week when I was cleaning my uh, my driveway and stuff and so the old intake the um, Thermostat housing sat and faced more towards the front well, I had this flexible piece of shit and Yeah, that worked everything's bolted up. It runs excellent. I couldn't put the coil mounted on the back where it's supposed to be at, so I just kind of took one of the screws out for the fire heater box on the firewall, screwed that to the wall, and one of my not most proud moments, super haggard, right? I, uh, I broke a motor mount because I was power breaking the thing, <clears throat> and I'm sitting in the car and I watched the engine pick like right up to here. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. So, there's nothing really, normally I would just like ratchet strap the thing down around like the alternator and send it, but on these older cars, you know, the bracketry that holds the alternator is like super thin. You got like this thin piece of metal here and same thing up top. So, I took some thin chain, went around the exhaust manifold, and we're gonna fire this thing up 
and we're gonna see if the engine doesn't flex anymore. Hopefully it doesn't, so we can go for a test drive. Let's see if it'll fire right up. Oh yeah. This thing purrs like a fucking kitten. The motor does move a little bit. But, I mean, it'll work for now. I'm going to put a motor mount in it this week. But I definitely want to take her up the road. And see how she goes. for a quick wrap. This thing, it picks up way quicker. That was just like a quarter throttle. This thing is definitely way more responsive with the four barrel. I'm digging it. Definitely has way more pickup. That two barrel is junk. Alright. We're gonna load up the kids. Because Uncle Alex and Uncle Brandon are watching the kids at the moment. This thing is definitely like a whole new animal. I'm excited. Definitely gotta fix the motor mount. I can't be beating on it too much, but she runs so much better. I'm excited. Fix that motor mount. Maybe do some exhaust on it too. All right guys, we'll catch you later.